DOTD uses uh, several avenues to maintain uh, the interstates and roadway systems as far as trash along the roads. We have litter crews that go out prior to uh, mowing operations, pick up trash. We have maintenance contracts with private sweeping companies. They typically come through about once a month and they sweep the inside and outside shoulders along the interstates and the interstate ramps. And anytime we get a call about any debris or objects in or along the roadway, our maintenance crews will go out and address those specific issues. There are many ways we have litter on the highways as well as the roadside. And it uh, involves homes, businesses, construction sites, uh, even what we call midnight dumping. Those that, that you don't see, but in the daytime when you do your inspection of roadway, you have a tendency to see it. Well, we get calls at customer service constantly uh, reporting litter or debris along the roadways, and this is statewide, everywhere from Shreveport to New Orleans. And we take those calls and we push them out to the district maintenance offices, and from there, uh, they assign someone to go and, and pick it up. We've had experiences where a small plastic bag has covered a, a, a drain inlet, for example, and uh, you know the ponding on the roadway was a, a, a serious problem. But little is an expensive endeavor, and that is curtails that we use the manpower, changing of schedules. We have to use our equipment. We have to take all that into consideration, and sometimes it's very hard to get on those sudden little spills because of traffic flow. We would just urge members of you know the traveling public to take a little extra care in securing the items when they're going down the road, whether it be in a pickup truck, trailer, or a large truck. And it takes them about a week to sweep all of the interstates. And there are times where within 24 hours of them completing an entire sweeping schedule, I have people calling, complaining about trash that has been deposited since they finished their cycle. We get uh, all sorts of debris, whether it's wood or uh, pieces of steel or logs or, or just regular trash. Truck tires, uh, the large 18-wheeler tires. Tires, truck tires, car tires, bicycle tires. Mattresses, box springs, exercise bikes. Passenger vehicle tires. Furniture, uh, mattresses, uh, box springs, sofas, chairs. A mile and a half to two miles dropped styrofoam food containers. Tires, ice chests. Everywhere, and it just covered the roadway. Industrial waste, residential waste. Can, bottles, household items, couches, mattress. Fish slime. As cars drove through it, they blew up into the air. It almost looked like it was snowing styrofoam food containers. An entire load of avocados. Pieces of tires. Uh, I've personally gotten out of my truck and picked up bumpers. The spill of fish byproducts. It was a hazard to the motor and public, but it was, as you can uh, tell, it was quite smelly. Dollhouse that was uh, lost off of the back of a pickup truck. And so our crews were on the sides of the road cleaning that, and once they would clean that up as cars drove through, more debris would be pushed to the sides of the road. Not sure what other kind of tires there are. Yeah, I've never found a treasure <laughs> on the side of the interstate yet, but I'm still looking. <laughs>